Hello, and welcome to a slightly different uh, video today. I say slightly different, mainly because I haven't done many of them. Uh, and that is a blind bag opening, or rather several blind bag openings in this case. Uh, today, as you may be able to see uh, down there, we are going to be opening some Gears of War uh, blind bags. Meccano, specifically. They're like minifigures. Uh, I'll go over that in a second. Uh, so, I decided to get six bags, because there are six to collect, apparently. As you can see there, there's Marcus Phoenix, Coltrane, I think, a cog guy, and uh, three locusts. I think they're called locusts. I think. I'm almost certain. Um, right, so, without further ado, um, get on to opening them, really. There's no particular things on the side to open them with, which is confusing. Because usually they have stuff like that. So, I'm going to use my trusty knife. Yay! Because knives are often handy. Now, as I open this, I'll explain. You may be wondering... Ah, okay, why Why did you buy six bags of this? Are you a big Years of War fan? No, not really. Uh, I don't dislike the series. I've not yet finished playing the first game. Um, but, you know, I like Years of War. It's, it, it's a good series. It's something I will get into. Um, but, you know, as I said, I haven't finished the first game yet. But it, it's really fun. Uh, I enjoy it. So anyway, uh, the reason I bought six bags uh, to get around to the actual thing is because they were 15 pence each uh, in, in a shop called Home Bargains. If, if you live in the UK, you probably know where that is. If you live in America, you probably don't. But 15 pence is incredibly cheap, even if these are horrible in quality. Uh, they'll they'll serve to be a nice army, because there's a, there's a pretty big chance that I'm not going to get all six in six packs, because probability-wise that's insane. So, I may pick up a few more packs, uh, but what I am hoping is to build a small army, especially if I get a few locusts. You can have a small locust army just to have in the background of stuff, or, you know and to, like, just a display. Uh, right, so we get a piece of paper first, which explains all of them, I think. So, uh, if I zoom in there a bit, we have Anthony Carmine. Okay, he's... He just looked like a generic cog soldier to me. We have Marcus Phoenix, of course, and we have Jack Stratton. Okay, no, maybe it wasn't called right then. He's got a Lancer, a Phoenix has got a Retro Lancer, and Carmine has a Crasher Shotgun, okay. Uh, obviously that's how you assemble them. That is already not looking great. The arms don't have great articulation. I think Ashens may have actually reviewed this, so if you want a more comprehensive uh, review of it, I imagine that's probably your best option. We have a Locust Cyclops, yeah, they are called Locust, who has a Hammer Burst, okay. We have the Locust Gr Grenadier with a Nasher so Shotgun, Nasher from uh, the Beano, of course. And we have a Locust Drone, who has a Snub Pistol. Right, okay. Oh, common and rare. What? Okay, well, hang on. Common, minifig. Rare. What? Okay. Do, they, do these have rarities? Oh, okay. I see. So the rare ones are uh, him and him. Right. I don't really care. To be honest, you know, as I said, I just want locusts. The two people with actual faces are going to be slightly more annoying if I get several of them, because army builders are slightly more difficult when you have uh, faces you recognise. But whatever. That's fine. That's fine with me. Uh, okay. So... We're looking for... I don't know. I, I don't really care which which I get. But the first one is... It's a locust of some kind. That's a good start. Cool. I'm going to assemble this and be right back. Okay, so first up we have the locust drone. Uh, which is a common, apparently. Is this snub pistol there. It's He's an alright figure, actually. They're not... The best, I mean, they have articulation, but it's kind of... Eh, it's okay. It's fine. There's there's nothing wrong with it. Um, however, I'm not sure how well these stand up. Let's see. Ah, okay. He stands up moderately well. Okay. That's fair enough. Cool. Well, okay, that was the first pack. 
that was that was all right that's uh yeah so let's go ahead and open the second pack uh you know these these aren't the worst quality uh minifigs ever i mean well, literally for the price 15 pence there's a fuck of a lot more that could be wrong with it so let's get that out of the way again that's probably the same and this time we have uh, that thing right be right back okay and next up is Anthony Carmine who's the uh, armoured dude with the shotgun uh, right first of all his mini figure design is pretty fucking cool. I I like that. That's uh, that's something I'm glad I have. His his design is really cool. But the shotgun he's holding kind of lightly fits in his hand, as in small amount of force, and it comes off. Also, it doesn't fit in this hand. It this straight up is too big. Uh, too small. Sorry, I can't. I I can't. I I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with that. But, okay, whatever. Uh, so that's Anthony Carmine and the Locust. So far, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. There's no officially recognisable characters. And I got two out of six. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, I mean... It's uh, for all you avid Meccano Gears of War fans watching this. Uh, of which I'm sure there are dozens of you. And next up looks to be the same again, Anthony Carmine. Uh, right, let's see. Okay, I'm back. It is another Anthony Carmine. Uh, and this one's shotgun fits pretty much fine. Uh, like, a lot better for some reason. And I think probably in the other hand as well. Yeah. Okay, right, well I just got a faulty Anthony Carmine then. Okay, so that's uh, two carmines there, and for being my favourite design out of the six, I'm kind of, I'm kind of impressed that uh, I've got a double of him, because, as I said, you know, I uh, quite look forward to having a bit of an army maybe, of them. So that's three packs down. Let's get on to the fourth pack. Uh, then I'll give you know a summary at the end. Maybe buy some more packs. Uh, if anything of note happens, then I'll maybe make a second video, but I don't imagine any of you are avidly looking forward to seeing, you know, what I get in future. This is the same again, I think, of the first one I had. Uh, you know, but I can't be sure until I build it. Okay, it's the same one as uh, before, as you can see. Oh, he's fallen off. But yeah, they're the, they're the same guys they've got. Snub pistols, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, because, as I said, army building and stuff. Well, he's fucking gone. Right, I'll be back. Now we're going to have a lie down for now because, you know, it's been a tiring day. They don't want to stand up. I mean, they're kind of on duty, but uh, I'm sure they can take a bit of a break. So, oh, okay, that, that just came out. Let's see, will I get a rare one? I... No, oh, no, oh, it's it's a different locust. Way I'll open it up and be right back. Okay, this is the locust grenadier who seems to have a lot of trouble with his legs because they keep coming off. Uh, he's got his shotgun there, and I must say his face sculpt is leaving a lot to be desired there. That's uh, not particularly detailed, but whatever. Looks pretty cool. His legs come off uh, again. Cool. Right, and the last pack. Will we get one of those highly coveted rares? This is, you know, th this is what I live for. Uh, Pokemon card openings have nothing on this. Let's see. It is... Da -da -da -da. I think the same locusty thing again. I'll, I'll build it and see. Okay, it was. So, we have three of those locust thingies. So, to recap, we have three of these locusty things. As we can see here. We have one locust grenadier. And we have two of that guy that I can't remember the name of. Now, quick summary. Are they worth the money? 15 pence? Yes, they are. 
partly because, you know, the sculpts aren't bad, especially on this. This is my favourite minifig of the uh, lot, well, of the three that I got. But also because they fit in scale with the Halo Mega Blocks figure, sort of. I mean, slightly bigger, but it really doesn't matter that greatly. Uh, and, you know, I'm like slowly collecting the uh, Halo Mega Blocks things because I really like Halo designs. Uh, you know, not massively. Games are okay. But uh, but what I mean is, you know, there's lots of things where I can set up in a diorama. Uh, right, so if I do buy any more and I'll particular get anything interesting, uh, I'll make a video. But if not, until next time, goodbye.